people are welcome back. I haven't become a fisherman, don't worry, don't worry. It's freezing cold in here, so I'm wearing a hat and about five layers. Um, this tune is actually a runner-up in last month's Patreon uh, poll. All of you lot um, kind of won that wooden spoon, but uh, it's such a great tune, I thought I'd do it anyway. And also, it's quite timely because Dave Grohl just did uh, an acoustic version on the Foo Fighters channel, so go and check that out. And then it explained all about the um, uh, where the tune originated from and all that sort of stuff, so go check that out too, it's great. Now let's dive in. We're obviously looking at the acoustic version. It's in drop D tuning. Low E is gonna go down to D. So it should match the fourth string. Now there's a couple of cool bits in here that I um, figured out that I didn't know before about this tune. Um, so hopefully you will learn something, even if you already know the tune. So the first chord, 0, 9, 11. Second chord, plant your first finger on the ninth fret. Slide that down to the fifth fret. And back up to nine. For two bars. Now the strumming. There's a couple of things to note there. The right hand's quite loose and strummy. The left hand is muting the chords, right, when they're not being played. So you get. Okay, so the, the E note is basically allowed to drone. Don't worry about where you're playing particularly. You don't want to be too. too static it's very loose so you just want to aim for the three thick strings right the D the A and the D string okay if you occasionally hit the low D no harm no foul right doesn't make any difference it'll still sound fine so that's the dynamic right the low D string rings out and the chords don't, right? They're staccato. The same thing happens when you move to the second chord, right? Because you basically, instead of playing it's not staccato, right? Basically think about aiming for it as a as a, a one-fingered power chord, right? So you're on the covering three strings on the ninth fret, and then when you're playing that, now you'll occasionally hear the ninth fret. Because it's basically just overshooting the, the bass notes, right? But it's all part of the vibe, right? So again, the, think of the bass notes. That. Same rhythm as before. So, those two parts, slowly. Down to the fifth fret. And that is just the same part played twice. And again, I'm doing the same thing, right? So that 7th fret is only fretted when it's needed, right? Then up to the ninth fret again. So that whole part slowly, play along with me, right? Two, three, four. Okay, 
That's that part. To speed. So then you want to get some dynamics in it and note that when you change between the chords you'll occasionally be playing just open strings, right? Okay, so there's one there and then another one there. And you can put one at the end there as well if you want. Next part's cool, it's octaves, it goes like this. So basically twice around that. So you're going to play three strums per note, starting on the fourth fret on the A. Up one fret to five. Up two frets. Up another two frets to nine. And then the last batch of three, if you like, is nine, ten, open. And then you go to the, the seventh fret, right? Now, um, he actually lets it ring out there, and then back around. Okay, so that's slowly. Again. And that's it. So let's do it again slowly. Play along. Two, three, four. So if you want, you can just leave your, I'm using my little finger as the top octave, right? same string and just move it around even when you go to that chord there on the seventh fret right because your little finger is going to be playing the ninth that's part of the chord so it sounds awesome after two of those it changes and goes into the chorus basically and you're going to play So let's go through that slowly. You've got the same run up, but the chord changes. So rather than going seventh fret, you go ninth fret. And he lets it ring out. Um, this is the only version he does that in, actually. Let's go through the chords that we're going to play. Okay, it's ninth fret, fifth fret, same shape. Then, and this is the bit that I just discovered. I didn't know that he did this, but he's actually playing, he's playing an octave. He's playing five and seven on the A and the G. But both, e, both D strings are open. Um, and the reason that I picked up on that is basically, Just does some noodly little, just picks out random strings amongst those four. So it doesn't really matter what you do there, you'll still get that, that effect, right? Then um, around again. Last time. Seventh fret again, and then two bars of. with a bit of a build up, right? And then he's back into that riff. So, just a couple of things to note there then. All of the chords come in just before the beat. It's on the four and, right? So it's one and two and three and four and.
right, this is upstrokes basically. That goes around a couple of times and then to the outro basically is just a repeat of the all right and that is just exactly the same as before but you add an extra an extra two open strings. I'm basically playing the A and the D string there, right? So it's four, 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 five, 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 seven, 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 nine, 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 nine ten, zero, zero. around the chorus again.